In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can start dropshipping products with your branded logo on with five to 10 day shipping times. So not only can you start building a brand around your store, but you can also keep your customers happy with extremely fast shipping times using a supplier called SUP Dropshipping. Here is an example of one of the products that I have set up using SUP Dropshipping. And as you can see, my logo is beautifully printed on the packaging. And like I say, these products are reaching customers within five to 10 days international shipping. And if I just go and show you this particular product, this is an automatic hair curler. So I'll just take it out of the box so you can see it is a really in demand and amazing product. And you can get these products from SUP Dropshipping at super affordable prices so you can mark them up and start making a great profit. So like I say, you'll be able to brand your products that reach your customers in five to 10 days shipping times. And you will have a massive selection of different products that you can start testing and dropshipping from this tutorial using SUP Dropshipping. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can find products on SUP Dropshipping, how you can connect your stores to your SUP Dropshipping account, including Shopify and WooCommerce stores, how you can go and set up branded packaging for all of your products so that you can start dropshipping branded products and how you can start fulfilling orders with SUP Dropshipping. So if you've been looking for a reliable supplier that will allow you to start dropshipping products with your logo on, then this is the tutorial for you. So the first thing you are going to do is head over to supdropshipping.com and I will leave a link in the description. Now from here, you can register an account. So we are just going to click on register. Now, all you need to do here is enter in your email, choose a password and agree to their terms and conditions. And then all you need to do is just click on next to sign up. Now I already have an account, so I'm simply just going to sign in. Now, once you are signed in, it will bring you back to the homepage. Now from here, we are going to go to the dashboard. So your SUP dropshipping dashboard will look a little something like this. So you have all of these different tabs down the left-hand side. So we have find products where we can go and search and import different products. We have my orders where you can go and have a look at all of the orders that have come through from your store and you can fulfill your orders. You have my products. So these are the products that actually have been connected to your store. You have print on demand. So these are print on demand products such as t-shirts and hoodies. And this is where you can go and create your designs. You have pro services. So this is where you can go and re request photography for certain products. And you can also go and set up your custom packaging, which I will be showing you how to do. And then finally, you have authorization where you can go and connect your store. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to connect a Shopify store. So let's just click on Shopify. So in order to connect your Shopify store, just type in the name of your Shopify store, and then we are just going to hit authorize. It will then bring you over to the SUP dropshipping app, and you can just click on add app. Then all you need to do is log in to your Shopify store and just click on install app. It will then bring you back to your SUP dropshipping account and you just need to click on authorize now. It will then just say you are ready to start using SUP dropshipping. And once again, you can click on go dashboard. It will then say, congratulations, you have successfully linked your store. And then it will say, would you like us to assist with connecting your products? Now, don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you can just click on later. The next thing I am going to show you how to do is how to connect a WooCommerce store. So for all of you WooCommerce users, you can continue on. And for all of you Shopify users, you can skip to the next part of the tutorial using the timestamps in the description, where I will show you how to import a product. So we can go to authorization once again, and we can click on WooCommerce. Now from here, all you need to do is just enter in the URL of your store and click on authorize. It will then bring you over to your WooCommerce login. So just enter in the login details for your WooCommerce store and click on login. Then all you need to do is just hit approve. And then it will bring you back to your SUP dropshipping dashboard and it will say WooCommerce store authorization and you will have your store in the lists down here. So the next thing I want to show you is how to import a product. So in order to do this, we are going to go back to the SUP dropshipping homepage. So just click on this to head back to the SUP dropshipping homepage. Now from here, you can look in the different categories to go and find any product that you want to import. And they literally have thousands of products that you can import at really amazing prices. So if I just show you a product, we can see that this product is being sold here, super absorbent format, 
for $55. And if we have a look on Drop a Spy, we can see that this product is doing really well. It's got 2K likes, 209 hearts. So we can assume that they're making some decent profit on this product. So if we just go back to the SUP dropshipping homepage, we can go to Home and Garden and we can go to Floor Mats and Rugs. And from here, we can see that exact same product that I just showed you that is doing really well on Dropper Spy. So all you need to do is click on a product that you want to import. And then from here, you can go and have a look at the different prices of the product. So if I choose a color and I choose the sizing, we can see that the product is $13.63. Now, if we have a look, like I said, for this exact same one, 50 times 80, it is being sold for $55. So now let's just head back to this particular product and you can go and choose your shipping method as well. So you can go and have a look at the total cost, including the shipping. So if we just go and have a look, you can go and choose faster shipping if you want to so if we scroll down you can see the initial shipping is nine dollars but if we pay three dollars extra we can actually get it in a lot quicker time so five to eleven days which is really great now you can pretty much ship to any country that you want to so if i just go and type in the united kingdom and we can go and see that we have some similar prices when it comes to shipping once again if i just pay nine dollars or even ten dollars i can get it in four to nine days so if i go and hit ok now we can see that the total cost of the product is going to be 24 dollars as I said, this store is selling for 54. So that's a very healthy profit of $30. So like I say, SUP dropshipping has some really great products when even when you include the shipping, you can still make a decent profit on all of their products. So all you need to do then is just scroll down and click on list to your store. If you do want to get some custom made photos, you can go for a photography request and you just need to fill this out so you can create a video or a photo. So if you are looking for some custom images for any particular product, you can go and do this. But if you want to simply just list the product on your store, you just need to hit list to your store. So then you can choose which warehouse it's going to ship from. Generally, most products will be shipped from the China warehouse, but sometimes they do ship products from other warehouses. And then you can go and choose your store. So I have two different stores here that I can go and choose, my Shopify and my WooCommerce store. So let's just say we want to list this on the WooCommerce store and I can choose that. And once you have chosen your store, you can go and rename the product. So I could just go and rename it, let's say the same name as this product here. So if we head back here, I can just go and paste that in. Then we can go to the description and you can go and edit this, but don't worry, once you actually list your product and then it is pushed to your store, you can go and edit this also from the back end of your Shopify or WooCommerce store. So we can see so we have the description here. So it's got some of the images. So once again, let's just use the description from here just for argument's sake. So if I just copy this and I can come in here and I can just paste that description like this and we can go and keep or delete any images that we want to. So let's just say if I was to delete, to delete these two images because we do also have images here. So once again, like I said, once you actually push the product to your store from your Shopify and WooCommerce dashboards, you can clean the product descriptions up, of course. Then you have the variants. So you can choose which different variants that you do want to go and sell on your store. And you can go and bulk choose the prices. So if I enter in a price, I could say 54.99 into this bar here. And you can see that it has added 54.99 to every single one. Now, alternatively, you can go and choose different pricing for different ones if you want to. So for example, this one is slightly more expensive. So I could go and change this to 64.99. So I'm making a little bit more profit. So it's totally up to you how you want to go and do it. Then you can go and rename the colors. So we have this Bacal Ellipse Blue. So I could just go and change this to gray blue, let's say, for example, to make it a little bit easier to read from the customer's end. So I could go for something like that. And then I can just go and copy and paste this into anyone that does say back out blue or back out green. Now you might see there are sometimes a few small mistakes. So you'll see here that the color and the size have been swapped. So for this particular product, what you would want to do is if we just paste it like this, and then we can cut this and paste it here. So just make sure that before you push it to your store, that everything is fine and there aren't any small mistakes like the sizes and the colors getting mixed up. And then finally, you can go and choose your images. So if there's any images that you don't want to use, you can just simply untick them 
and then all we need to do is just hit list it now the product will then be listed on your store so if we just go back to my sup and we click on dashboard once again now from here we can go to my products and we can go to listed and we will see that product that we just listed. Now, if you head over to your store, whether it's WooCommerce or Shopify, you should also see your product has been pushed to your store. So you can see on my WooCommerce store here, this product has been pushed to my store. And like I say, if you do this on Shopify, you will be able to see this just by going into your products as well. So now if we head back to sub dropshipping, the next thing I want to show you is how to source cheaper suppliers. So we go to find product and we can go to search product. And the best way to search for a cheaper supplier for a particular product is to upload an image of that product. So if we go to this product on AliExpress, I can just use the snipping tool. So let me just hit cancel and hit new. And I can simply snip this image. So let's snip this. And all, the, all you then need to do is just go and save the snip. So I'm just going to save this image. And now if we head back to sub dropshipping and let's just go back to the dashboard. So now from here, we can go and upload the image. So let's go and choose that image that I just saved from AliExpress. So now I have gone and uploaded that and now SUP Dropshipping will go and find some cheaper suppliers. So now you can see we've found this exact product for $16. Whereas on AliExpress, you can see it was 26 pounds, which is around $35. So we found it for a lot cheaper. So now what you can do is you can go and choose the product that you want to import. So this one, of course, has a lot more sales, so it's more likely to be reliable. So once again, you can hit import product. And once the product has been imported, you can go to action and you can click on list it to store. And then once you click on that, you can go and repeat that process that we repeated earlier. So you can go and choose your store, and then all you need to do is just go and edit your description, your variants, your images, and hit list it now. So I'm just gonna hit cancel on this because I don't want to list this particular product at this moment. But like I say, this allows you to go and find super cheap and reliable suppliers compared to using AliExpress all the time. So you might find a product on AliExpress, but you can go and have a look for it on sub dropshipping and you can find it for a lot cheaper, which allows you to make more profit. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can go and set up custom packaging for your products. So once again, you can just head back to the SUP dropshipping homepage. And from here on the homepage, if you scroll down, you will see start branding at $9.90. So just go and click on this. Now, if you can't find this on the homepage, I will leave a link in the description to this page as well. And from here, you can actually go and set up custom branding and packaging for your products, which is really amazing because this allows you to build a brand around your store and it gives your customers that branded experience, which means you will get repeat customers and in turn make more profit. So you can start for very cheap. So each of these specifications allows you to purchase a different type of branding. So you can simply start with tape, which is only $14.90. So this would be custom branded tape on your boxes. And then you can go and choose to get a little bit more expensive packaging if you so choose. So you can go for labels. Once again, these start from $9.90. So these will have your brand and your labels on your product. You can go for stickers. Once again, very cheap. So they'll add these stickers with your logo to the boxes. And then you can also go for the print on demand products. You can add custom branded labels in the actual products themselves, which is really amazing. And then you can also go one step further and actually choose custom branded packaging, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I'll just put some more footage on the screen now. So this is the actual package that I'm using for one of my particular products that I have shown you. So this starts from a little bit more expensive, $120, but this is actually really cheap considering that you can actually start your own brand just for a small amount of investment. You can also go for these mailer bags, so from $25, and also from these paper bags as well from $29. So like I said, I am using this packaging, which is the most expensive one, but you could potentially go for these mailer bags, which is a little bit cheaper. Now, if you do scroll down, you will be able to see the amount that you get, depending on what you go for. So for the boxes that I'm using, I've got 100 boxes for $120. So that's $1.20 per box, which I think is very reasonable because it's not a massive amount to actually invest. 
and you can see for some of the other stuff you get even more so for the plastic bags you get 100 pieces for the stickers you get 500 so it's up to you the amount that you want to invest and you can always go and test out different packaging and as you start to make more profit you can of course then start investing more into your packaging now you will see what you need to do so basically once you actually purchase this so what you can do is you can click on buy it now and you can purchase it and then they do have the instructions down the bottom here so after you finish the payment please contact our customer service to promote the project or add the design requirements and logo vector file in the notes of the order so in order to do that what you can do is once again you can go to my sup and click on profile and from here you will see your agents so you will have their whatsapp number and you will ha also have their online contact so once you make your purchase of your custom packaging just go and contact your agent and just say i want to send you my logo they will ask for it in an adobe illustrator file most likely but you can also send them a png file that just means maybe the print quality won't won't come out as good so you can go and send that to them and then they will go and set up your custom packaging so once you have done that you can go to my sup and you can go to dashboard and then all you need to do is go to pro services go to custom packaging and in my packaging you will see your packaging has been set up once you send over the file and they actually create it for you you will see it in this section and then anytime a product is shipped out it will be shipped out in that custom packaging now of course you can set up custom packaging for different products because depending on what the product is you are going to have to have different sized packaging so in order to do that once again just contact your agent and they can help you to set up those different sizes for each type of product that you are shipping out so like i say just make sure you go and contact contact your agent and they will be able to help you with setting all of that up. Now the next thing I want to show you is how you can fulfill orders. So earlier I showed you your listed products. So every time you list a product to your store, it will show in your listed products. Now before you go and fulfill orders, you're going to want to check your product connections. So just go and click on connection. And basically this just means that the product in your store is successfully to connected to the SUP dropshipping product. So that means that anytime a purchase is made on your store, this product which is listed on your store is connected to this SUP dropshipping product so that they can be fulfilled automatically so just make sure that you have got the connection you can set this up automatically so if you click on add Auto automatic connection and then from here you can go and choose your store and then all you need to do is just hit the sync button and it will go and connect those products for you so we go and hit back now so now we can see that this product has been connected so now what you can do is you can go to my orders and you can go to store orders when you get a new order on your store and then all you need to do is click on sync order and then from here you can go and choose your store you can sync orders from a certain time so i've just chosen the last seven days but you can go and choose any date if you want to for example sync your orders every single day and then you can just click on sync now it will then say congratulations and it will show you the number of orders that have been synced so for me you can see it says one order has been synced so i can click on ok now from here you can go and select your shipping method and your packaging so if you have set up your custom packaging you can click on select packaging and you will see your custom packaging in here and then you can go and select that so like i say if you have multiple different products and you have set up different types of packaging with your agent for each each of those products then you can come in here and you can select the relevant packaging for that product and just hit confirm then after that you just need to select the shipping method so i'm going to go and choose the shipping method so we're going to click on this and from here you can go and choose which shipping method you want to use so i'm going to go for the quickest shipping method and as you can see it's not even that much more costly than one of the cheaper ones so we are just going to go and choose this shipping method and then once you choose your shipping method your order will then go into a waiting payment now of course you can go and do this for multiple different orders so you can go and choose all of your different shipping methods let's say you've got 20 orders in a day you can go and do this for all of your different orders so then you can go to a waiting payment and you can come in here and you can go and pay it for all of your orders at once so if you select this one then you can go and choose bulk payment and you can go and pay for all of your orders at once so if i click on bulk payment and then from here you can choose to pay with paypal or pay with card and you will see in the corner the amount that it's going to cost you so then all you need to do is just go and pay for all of those different orders and then they will go and be shipped out automatically so once you have fulfilled the order then it will go 
go into pending and then once it has been processed it will go into processing and then finally it will go into fulfilled so this is where you can go and check the status of all of your different orders you can also see refunded and completed so this is how you will be able to go and monitor all of your orders and of course if something has gone wrong with your order you can always contact your dropshipping agent just to see where it is maybe it's been lost in transit or something like that so that is how you can fulfill your orders automatically with sup dropshipping now the last thing i do want to show you is sup dropshipping's chrome extension so if you just go back to the sup dropshipping homepage, and from here you can click on sup scraper up the top and then you can install their Chrome extension. So I'm just gonna go and click on add to Chrome and click on add extension. Now, once the Chrome extension has finished installing, all you then need to do is just click on the Chrome extension and log into your SUP dropshipping account. Now, what this Chrome extension allows you to do is source products for cheaper prices from other websites such as Amazon, eBay, DHGate, Taobao, and AliExpress. So if we just go over to Amazon, for example, and you can find any product on Amazon and you will see the SUP dropshipping logo. And what you can do is you can click on find better price. Then all you need to do is just choose an image and click on find better price. And then it will bring you over to SUP dropshipping and it will go and find a better price for this product. So once again, I have chosen this product from Amazon. And as we can see, it's coming up with a lot more affordable prices then if I was to go and source this product from AliExpress, say, for example, and then all I can do is just click on import to go and import the product to my store. And like I say, you can do this on multiple different websites. So here we are on DHgate. So I have chosen this product and on DHgate, we can see we've got the logo here. So if I click on find better price and once again, I can go and choose the product and click on find better price and it will bring me over to sub dropshipping to find a better price. So if we have a look at the results for this particular product, on DHgate it is 42 pounds, which is around $57. So we can see the first one's a little bit more expensive, but now we can start to see there are some similar products at a lot cheaper prices that you can then go and list on your store. So you can see this one, a very similar product for only $14. So this is a really powerful Chrome extension that will allow you to source thousands of different products at a lot more affordable prices so you can start making a lot more profits. Now, if you click on the Chrome extension, you can see that you only get a maximum of 10 per day. So just be a little bit cautious about the types of products that you are sourcing because you don't wanna waste these, but you can do this every single day for completely free for up to 10 different products, which is really amazing. Now, one last thing that I do want to show you with SUP dropshipping is you can actually source products as well. So let's say there's a product that you couldn't find where well, you can actually put in a sourcing request. So you can come in here and you can search for any product. So let's just say I was to search for a body massager. So once all of the results of your search come up, you can click on sourcing and then you've got bulk purchase or dropshipping. So we can go for dropshipping. We can see the product price here is $21. So you can put the target price to 22. And then you could put something in the description like shipping to US or whatever country you want to ship it to. Then all you need to do is hit confirm. Once you do that, you do need to wait a few days, but all you need to do is go back into your sub dropshipping dashboard, go to find product, click on find better price, then click on sourcing products, and then it will go and show you which products are pending, if it's a sourcing success or if it has been unsuccessful. So if we have a look at this particular product, I can go to the details and it says the product which you are looking for has been listed. You can list to your store or purchase it directly. So then I can just click on this link to go and list it. So that's really amazing. Now, not every single product will be able to be sourced, of course, but most times they can find the product that you are looking for. So that is it for this tutorial, guys. Make sure to leave any questions you have about some dropshipping or if you're having any problems setting it up leave them down in the comment section below and i will try and answer all of your questions and check out the videos on screen now to learn more about growing your e-commerce and dropshipping stores and i'll see you in one of those videos